Reese Pendergast, a, uh, a well-known tourist throughout the Asian region, now living in Hong Kong. And uh, we won't mention that he was supposed to commentate in the first game with me, but he, he says he was supposed to be, uh, he said he was at work. Judging yeah. by his eyes, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sceptical. That's, that's tiring us through sheer hard work and persistence and effort there, my friend. Uh, I wish it was, being the week it is, just to do with <laughs> beers and, and going out on the smash, but uh, unfortunately those days are long behind me. Yeah, Reese, this is uh, the local boys, Hong Kong Football, uh, sorry, the Texas Hong Kong Football Club, up against the Turkish Airlines uh, Penguins. I'd say this, uh, this is probably going to be a, a, um, a tough one for the, for the football club boys, but they've... Uh, you know, a team that play, has played together most of the season, they, they should have um, some more combinations than they are than the Penguins, but we'll see. Well, it will be an interesting game because obviously you've got the uh, Penguins there that uh, bring elite players from, from across the globe together to take part in these competitions. Obviously coming here with the aim to win. Um, there'll be a, new, a lot of new players haven't played before. It'll be interesting to see how they gel and click against the team that are lower seeded, but as you say, have had that consistency of playing uh, a year, two years together. So it'll be interesting to see how you get that consistency against skill. No, definitely. And um, looking at the, at the football club team, they've actually drawn on a few guys from other clubs throughout, throughout, throughout Hong Kong. Um, notably, number nine, Josh Walden. Um, he uh, comes from a good rugby pedigree back home. His brother plays, plays for the Highlanders. He's a USRC Tiger. Maybe he's um, looking to, to his future here and trying to get some fluffy towels into his into his future and a, a little future membership from the football club, but we'll see. Well, some people have said he's really developed because of the coaching over here. Definitely has, yeah. He's, he's, uh, I've taught him all he hasn't known. He doesn't know. Right, so we've kicked off the first half now. You've got Penguins kicking off to the football club. Uh, you can see immediately the challenge there on the football club players as soon as that ball was in the air. Uh, I think it's going to be consistent now throughout the game. I think Penguins are going to look to, to make uh, an impact and example in this game because certainly they want to show people they're here to win, um, especially with the investment it takes to get that level of cal calibre of players together. And the football club also is their home game. They're going to want to kind of please the crowd, make an impact and, uh, and hopefully put an upset in here. Mate, yeah, I mean the Penguins obviously they're all, uh, you know, pedigree from, I, th I think most of them come from uh, from New Zealand, um, sort of, I guess, you're looking at sort of ITM Cup level or above. Um, even though they haven't got the combinations, they've just got, in, you know, a lot of these guys just got individual brilliance. Um, and, you know, they'll be, as long as the football club can contain them and just put a few early hits on, you know, get in their face, anything can happen. Um, you know, against these good teams, no matter how good they are, if you get in their face and really disrupt their, their style of play, it, it makes it hard for them. So, hopefully the footy club boys can uh, dig in here and Put a bit of a put a bit of stick to the, the to the penguin fellas. Yeah, definitely. It'll be interesting to see how they play this because I saw the Scottish there. I think they were kind of outclassed a little bit in many aspects of the game. So they decided to turn to that kicking game, which gave them possession. It'll be interesting to see when they're under pressure how these teams cope against the higher seeded teams. Because I think if you've got the ball, at least they can't score. I'm personally I don't understand. We're, we're, we're kicking away because you don't really relieve pressure in the sevens or tens game because it just comes straight. No, back exactly, at you. mate. And uh, that, that's a sort of a clear kick there from 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 uh, Big Tom Hill. South China Tigers played on the weekend against the Western Force in the Global Rapid Rugby. It's a great, a great initiative of the Global Rapid Rugby. It's given a lot of the, uh, there's a sort of the, the fringe players in Hong Kong rugby a chance to play at, at that at that elite level, um, which hopefully will, will put Hong Kong rugby in good stead. In, you know the that the Penguins are rushing up quite quickly in the line. Uh, the football club did well to kind of get up there and kind of get the ball out wide, miss a player. But you can see Penguins are very disciplined and experienced in the way they come across to cover that gap. Now they'll rush up fast and they'll try and put some big hits in and disrupt the, the club guys earlier, which is uh, which is what they're doing now. Going in, two tackles on one there, and uh, and a turnover. Now they've got the ball, a little bit of rust there with a the early knock on, but that's going to be expected, as we said in the last game. You know, the first game of a of a tournament like this, um, you're always a little bit rusty. Um, but you know, as as the as the tournament gets on, the teams like the Penguins will be uh, will, will really showing their skill. And I think what we'll see more, certainly at the higher seeded teams, if you notice there, as they did in the defensive line there, the, the, the people further in the defensive line will run up that bit quicker just to try and keep the ball contained in and force the play with the ball to run back into a pack. And as you did, just see the Penguins then kind of steal it yeah. and put themselves from a defensive position immediately into an attacking position. That's right. Footy club's been given a penalty here. I'd imagine they'll, uh, they'll try and get out of their own territory here, put a, put a, put a kick down the other, into the, to the Penguins, sort of hopefully down there, 22. Yeah, they're just trying to relieve a bit of pressure off now. Put 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 the put the game back up in the in the Penguins half. No, you don't. That's, that's one platform. place you don't want to play against the, the Penguins. I mean, they'll be dangerous from anywhere, but you don't want to be playing rugby out of your own half. So we'll see what happens here. I'd imagine an off the top ball. Um, out to the backs quickly, but we'll see. 
Yeah, hopefully, I, I think the uh, football club will look to spin it out wide first, set, set up a platform over the other end of the field and well, slowly look to come back and break some That's a clean ball, that's Walden. It's a big, bit of a, there it's a big hit, yeah, you can just see the Penguin, they're rushing up on the outside really fast to cut the options off. And uh, then obviously the centre holds it, takes it and unfortunately dropped it there, Tom Hill, but... Um, oh. oh, I think that's just the rush and excitement, he saw the line, uh, got a bit carried away, saw the player coming on the inside and just took his eye off the ball and unfortunately then knocked it on. That was definitely, he was, he was obviously, uh, I think he was looking towards the, 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 the white line there and thinking about his celebration rather than getting the ball over the line first. Well, well I think it is as well with the bigger players, they see they've got a, they've got a bit, of ga uh, bit of ground to cover in front of them, that always worries a bigger man. Mate, exactly. <laughs> it's always funny to see a big, a big forward uh, with a bit of open space. Here we go, club will be looking to clear this ball I'd say, or maybe they'll just keep in hands, try and get it wide, maybe run the Penguins around a little bit. Yeah, I, I think in this, you know, you're limited on your options to kicking the back up because you're just going to get the Penguins running straight back at you. No, it's better true. to try and build it, start a platform. That's well played there by Josh Walden. Pretend to uh, shape like he was going to pass, drawing the penalty from the uh, from the Penguins scrum half, putting on too much pressure there. A little bit of banter. There'll be some, there'll be some definite Kiwi banter going on there between Josh and some of the Penguins. He played for them last year in the in the tens, but he's um, played to the lead into football club this year, which is good to see. Those fluffy white tails, mate, it's an incentive. It definitely, mate, definitely. His, uh, his girlfriend just moved over from New Zealand, so I think he's probably been given the hard word there to, to get a membership at Footy Club, so USRC Tigers might have to uh, put another zero on his paycheck to keep him. <laughs> well, in the front or the end? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, zero plus zero is zero. <laughs> That's a better play there from Footy Club, but it's going to have a bit of composure. Yeah. I think in this is very, you know, as well, they've got to look to build the platforms on that. Got, you're not going to really break first off against these uh, bigger sides. You've got to try and get them in there, get the big players running up, draw the players in and create the overlaps on the outside. Definitely. It's trying to get two players or, you know, two, if you're, if you're a runner, you know, run the gap and try and draw two players and get an offload. Um, they, don't, they won't want to get into a forwards battle with, with the Penguins. They won't want to, um, you know, take it in and, and be doing too much forward, but they want to be sort of taking the ball in, drawing a couple of defenders and then offloading. So, it's, which is what they're doing right now. Just, they've just got to keep the ball in hand, which they're doing now. It's, it's, it's good to see. Footy club. Yeah, no, they, they, they're doing well. They certainly look to build that platform there. Uh, it's interesting watching the defensive line of the Penguins. You can see they're not going in for the breakdown areas. They're just immediately standing up, fanning to cover that, to cover the defensive lines and leave no gaps on the field. Now, well, these these top teams will have confidence in their D, and what they'll do is uh, one guy will make the tackle, um, and then the other guys just fan out. You, you don't want to overcommit to a ruck um, in, the, in, the, in the abbreviated game. It's just there's no point. So, um, and the Penguins are doing exactly that. That's a great flick on there by Footy Club. He obviously saw the defender coming up in his in his in his peripheral vision. Yeah, great off. It wasn't far off coming off, and there's those little kind of breaks that can really give uh, the football club an advantage here. No, exactly. Uh, and then footy club, they're doing well here. They've cut the ball. Still in the all with three and a half to go. Just little errors are creeping in there. I think just uh, they're trying to probably force it a little bit. They, they just need to have a little bit more patience with the ball in hand. Um, they don't need to score for every phase, or they know they're not going to. So, to them, it's just a matter of keeping the ball, getting momentum, you know, drawing in players, and hopefully, hopefully, getting that extra man at some stage. So, um, but you know, it's it's uh, they put up a good fight so far. They defended well in their own territory, and uh, the Penguins haven't been have, they haven't had everything their own way. Yeah, and it's interesting there because you start seeing in these breakdown areas that they're using the substitute. So it's a rolling sub base that they can bring them in and off. How important is that going to be to these players, it's particularly the people from overseas that aren't used to the humidity and the heat that you get here in Hong Kong? No, exactly. I mean, the, the rolling sub law is a good, it's a good thing, especially here in Hong Kong, where I said before the humidity is up like around 85 percent. So the, these overseas teams um, will be really struggling. Um, but you know. The rolling subs can also be to the detriment of a team. You know, if you make too many subs, you can't get enough continuity. But a team like, you know, the Penguins are probably, they can, that, they're fine with bringing on, you know, guys who are on the bench to give them a run out um, in this first game, and then they'll sort of settle on, on their sort of their, their, their starting ten for the, for the, for the games tomorrow. So it gives everyone a run out, gives everyone a chance to sort of show their wares, um, and, you know, and, and, and then press forward positions tomorrow. Definitely. I think for the touring side as well, it also helps them build that consistency and understanding the way that each people play, each person on the team plays. Uh, obviously, they come together very, uh, very few times a year, so to them to be able to go there, come to a competition like this, and make an impact, they've got to really gel and learn quickly. No, exactly. And they, the team, these teams, these top teams, will they'll um, they'll have like a couple of game breakers, and they'll know that, and they'll um, they'll sort of play, they'll base their, their game around a lot of those guys, um, and then the other guys will just sort of supplement them within the team. Um, but, you know, obviously saying that, they're a class, they're a class sort of 18-man squad, so um, they've got a lot of choices.
Yes, the Penguins just kicking there. The, the, the uh, football club did well to get a bit of pressure off. They played a little game there, a little part of the game in uh, in the Penguins' half, but immediately one chance and they're back down into their own 22. No, exactly. It's just, it's just a matter of keeping the ball. Football club have just got to, when they take that ball in, they've just got to recycle it, not be too not be too um, too pressured, just have a bit of composure and, uh, and keep the ball. Because obviously, if they've got the ball, the other team hasn't, so... Protect the pill, as they say. Exactly, mate. That's good defence there. Oh, good steal there by the football club. It was the, the football club um, employed the same the same defensive there as the, the, sorry the same defence as as the Penguins where they where they're rushing up on the outside and shutting down the options. What what that does is the guy who he goes to pass the ball he sees a, an opposition player outside him and he's very hesitant to pass it because he doesn't want to put his other player under pressure. So, um, which is you know in, in this game it's it's smart. So football club making a break there. I think that's through Tom Hill, pass up to Josh Walden. Some big hard lines they're running there. Some big players out here today. Oh, there's some, there's some definite big players, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm too old to be playing this game anymore because some of these guys are absolute giants. Two things I noticed: they seem to get bigger and younger, and yeah. faster, I should say as well. The football club doing well here. They're certainly, they're oh, certainly that's on their own. I think that's uh, the penguin boy put his foot in there. Then he's not going to get penalised, but football club have cleared it. Oh, unlucky forward pass there. The, I mean the, the um. The intent right there for football club, just the execution at the moment is uh, is, is not quite as what they what they'd expect. But you know, all teams are at the same the same stage uh, during the day of the day today, where their their first game, the th a few things that aren't working. But um, with a team like Footy Club, um, they've played together a lot of the year together, so at least they'll know as the day gets on they'll get better and better. So yeah, um, look, I mean, they'll, they'll take confidence going into the first half, um, nil all. And it's a tough game to start against the high-seeded teams such as the Penguins. It's a very tough game to come out there. Uh, I think the, the, the football club, you know, they, they, they've got the basis there. The defence is looking pretty strong. Uh, they're they're going to build and understand, learn more and attack as they, they're associated with 15s as opposed to 10s. They right. See there. That's that's the key there. Josh Bond did well there. He watched um he watched his um attacking opposite. Oh, oh that's a great skill there from the Penguins. Fantastic play by the Penguins here. Wonderful try. Football club did well to get over the cover it, but I think is that, as you said earlier on in, in the game that is that being, being able to offload in the contact is yeah, key that's to the these key, mate. I mean, you, you, these are these are big guys, right? So they, if they can draw one guy or or just sit, get that offload and have the guy in support, then that's that's that, that's sort of key there. So that, that was that just that try is pure pure class. It's a team like the Penguins show they can do anything from anywhere and just keep the ball in hand, um, and they've, they've they've come away with five points. But you know, footy clubs played well the first half. It's only, it's only 5 0. They'll take confidence from that. And um, in the second half, I'm sure they'll come out and and um, give it all they can. Yeah, I think it's quite interesting because when you look at the players' faces, you can certainly see a kind of sense of excitement on the uh, Penguins who are going to come out and do this, and almost a little bit of nervousness on the football club team. Look, I mean, I get any time you're playing against a, a, a team from overseas, you know, that, that's blessed with quite a, few, quite a bit of talent, you're always sort of show a little bit of nerves but I think these guys in the, in the football club side they'll be you know they've got nothing to lose yeah the Penguins have got everything to lose I mean the press there's more pressure on, 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 the, on the top teams because it only takes one of these teams to have a good half and score a couple of quick tries um, and the pressure's back on the on, on one of the top sides and um, you know the, the, these early games on on the first day where you've got the first seed in the pool versus the fourth seed in the pool sometimes you see one of these teams get tripped up early and um, and you know, it's it's just because they they're not expecting it. They don't come out, you know, as 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 fired up as they should. And they um, sometimes they get a little bit um, a little bit tripped up and they find themselves behind. So the Penguins, five nil at half time, through that um, that last bit of interplay there, just on the half time on the half ho time hooter. Um, but yeah, Footy Club will be, they'll, they'll be. I mean, they won't be upset the way that they've. Uh, no, they'll be happy with this. Yeah, no, they're definitely. But they played well. Yeah. Um, I think they'll just be saying in the huddle there, you know, that they'll, they'll be patting themselves on the back. I think they've done exceptionally well. Uh, they, they, they've kind of structured themselves pretty well in both defence and attack. So I think they'll be they'll, they'll take a lot of a lot of uh, a lot away from that half, and they'll come back out. And I think they'll have a little bit of confidence now coming out of this second. No, half. exactly. I mean, you, I think they just need to have a bit more patience with the ball in hand. I think just they they, they did a few 50-50s there, which they probably didn't need to do, and um, and they just sort of yeah, just just I think they're a little bit overawed. By the occasion, they just need to relax, have a bit of fun. You know, after all, it's a it's a social tournament, it's a fun tournament. Um, if they go out there with that with that mindset, throw the ball around, who knows what will happen? Yeah, I, l I love the concept of social because when I think social, I think beers on the half time, <laughs> off, uh, on the sidelines, half time. These guys are professional now, aren't they? Yeah, but you know what, mate? The, the thing is, all, all these all these professional teams, all these teams that come in these with, with a lot of professional rugby players in them, they still play the tens um, as it's meant to be played. Like they. 
you know, they, 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 they don't play it properly at 120%. You know, they know that they've got to leave a lot of gas and tank for tomorrow's games where yes. they're playing some harder teams. And they play it in the spirit of the 10s. And that's why the oh football, the, you know, the GFI 10s is the best, the best 10s in the world because everyone plays it at the spirit it's supposed to have. You know, they play out on the pitch and then uh, after the game they'll give a few scoops in the, in the, in the, in the bar afterwards. But the after party. The after party. The, the big one tomorrow, the church. I think that's what uh, most people are looking forward to. Then a public holiday on, on Hong Kong on Friday, so a lot of uh, a lot of the Hong Kong locals will be, uh, be very happy with that. I've got a pink ticket from the wife, so I'm looking forward to it. So we've kicked the second half off now. Um, I think it went straight into touch there, so it goes back to the Penguins. Yeah, just silly early, you know, silly mistakes there, which uh, which which the football club boys will sort of rue those mistakes. But um, you know, but that's you know that happens. Yeah, of course, of course. So that's a strong, powerful run you can see there. The football club player did well to keep his grips on the, on the player and not let him go. Yeah, the Penguins uh, seem to have come out with a bit more intent in the second half. But um, you know, as long as football club puts that pressure on, you know, as I said, that anything can happen. Like that pass there went behind. That's all you need is one of those one of those passes to just sort of go behind and then scoop it up and you can score down the other end. Like the in the last game we saw the overseas old boys do the same thing. This Penguin now on the tackle. That's, that's, that. that, that's what I'm talking about there. That just that getting up in D. Yeah. Anything happen. But you, see, you squeeze the options, don't give the player too much. If he try and forces the pass, exactly as we saw, then it can go anywhere, come off a player, uh, just going in a completely different direction, which gives the, uh, the defender team the opposition then uh, the opportunity to come back and turn that into an attack. Right, exactly. It's only five mil, and it only takes one little error or one little one little uh, you know bounce of the ball to go football clubs way, and then down the run and, and under, under the post. So, um, so yeah, so it's you know, it's five mil with uh, eight and a half to go. Line just at the 22, so so uh, football club steal it on the head. Be interesting what they try and do here. Oh, probably not the smartest kick there by Josh Walden back into the Penguins. They'll take this up. Oh, that was a good great tackle hit there, there from, great from, from, from the football club from the football club player. I think that was Tom Hill again. But interesting, you can see the line of here on the Penguins is the big overlap here on the near side. I'll be interested to see if they can get that ball out quite quickly. Yeah, there's. It's interesting to note there actually that, that the Penguins guys are quite flat, um, yeah. but they're, they're you know with the, with the size of these guys and they've got off the mark pace, so they can put that injection you know at the drop of a hat. Um, no, but there wasn't the best play, ran the ball into touch, so and that's a yellow card. Oh, what what did, did you see what the yellow card was for? No, I think it might have been a little of a uh, little of, uh, unsportsmanlike play there at the breakdown, but so um, I'm not too sure who that was because the numbers we have don't correspond to the jerseys because obviously the Penguins have um, They've gone for the a letter option. but needless to say they're down to nine men for uh, for two minutes so it's definitely time now football club to sort of try and take advantage of that and, and in a game like this where you're missing actually obviously normally a 15s game down to 10 the, the space that opens up on the field is quite dramatic then obviously you take that down to nine that's going to be tiring the Penguins player to cover that to cover the extra space now. No, and definitely, and amount. it's and it's just football club here have got to be just be smart. I mean, that was just silly play there, throwing a throwing a wide pass, putting themselves under pressure. Now the Penguins have turned that that defence into attack, and uh, yeah, again the pressure's back on football club now. The football club got a line up there. They're looking to take it quite quickly. Unfortunately, the the, the, the uh, Penguins player marked it there, so it's good attacking platform now off the. Uh, uh, f for the football club here, be interested to see what the Penguins do, how they cope it. I think the football club should try and suck it in, take it up quite tight once, spread it out wide quite quickly. Maybe look to make that break, get that uh, player running on the shoulder and just give him a little pop. No, you're definitely right there. They've, um, I think I just made a change. Tom Hill's come off. Frankie Solomon has come back on, or sorry, has come on. Frankie Solomon, he's a fire dancer out of Disney, plays for the uh, F USRC Tigers. Um, that's just a bad ball from from our football club there, but they've managed to scoop it up. Oh. There you go. That, We've got that's a break the difference here. that one man makes to the nine to ten. Oh, lovely that's a great line. step a great there. Try from the football club. And that's what I'm saying. That's one break. One, you know, one one bad pass and one step away from 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 uh, taking this this lead now. Or well, hopefully, yeah. if it gets his kick, that's a uh, that's a funny game. It's just one one little uh, lapse of concentration and and uh, anything can happen. And I think that shows just having that one player off the field. Then it means that the, the remaining nine have to work that much harder just to cover those gaps. Exactly. And it's uh, just you know, as you said, it's one one little break and then you've got that that um that extra man over there wasn't a lot of support there for, for football club so lucky that the footy club player made uh, sort of went the distance josh walden's kicked the extras that's fantastic that puts them down the lead seven points to the football club five points to the penguins that was a fantastic individual finish uh, effort to finish that try as well no, that took the player well took the lines fantastic no, definitely. Run.
So footy club, see what they can do. They'll, they'll take confidence now out of this, hopefully. If they're smart, they'll take their time, but they've just got to make sure they don't they don't go into a defensive mode. That you can't you can't afford to go defensive in this game because you'll get absolutely spanked by the opposition. So the, no, the key exactly. is here they'll they'll have to keep attacking um, and do sort of much what they've done before. Just take the ball up, but they've got to just just retain possession. That's the key here. That's it. They got to get the ball and keep hold of it. I mean, that, that, exactly. That's going to be the key here. It's going to be interesting as well for the Penguins because having that one player down, it's going to be a uh, quite tiresome on this, particularly with the heat. The first game there uh, coming together. Oh, that's a fantastic effort. It's a great tackle. Great tackle. So let's see if the football club needs to fan out here. That is, they can't afford to get stuck in a, in a forward battle. And just keep that pressure on. So they, they, they come up a bit um, a bit in ones and twos here, football club. They need to come in one line. Have have their fullback sweeping just in case they kick through. But the that pressure's on. That This, uh, this is a great play here from football club. This, they've uh, seemed to have their tails up. That was a fantastic example of what great line speed can actually do and the impact it can make. And no matter who you are, if, you, if you've got someone in your, in your, in your um, line of sight, you're always going to have that element of doubt, or you're gonna, it's, you have to make a decision, right? So as soon as that, as soon as that someone's in your line sight, then you, you know you need to sort of, you need to sort of sum up what's happening, and then and then um, and then play from there. So it looks like the the, the player is now back on. Uh, the Simbin player for the Penguins is now back on the field. Yeah, well, football club did well. They took well, good advantage of that of that nine man, nine versus ten. They got the try. I think um, it's always key. I think it's quite demoralising for a team when they when they've got their advantage uh, in terms of numbers and they don't actually convert anything from it. I think the football club did exceptionally well to get their seven points. No, you're right, that. mate. That, that they had to take that. If there was a time they wanted, if they were to take advantage of that was then. And uh, to all credit, they were given that 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 little glimpse and they took it. So, they're just under three and a half minutes now left in the second half. Penguins have a line at just inside the Hong Kong Football Club half. They'll be desperate to to get points on the board. They will not be happy with themselves where they are at this stage, uh, being two points down with uh, just over three minutes left. No, and this is this is the critical time for the club. They really need to, to step up in D here. Just need to do man-on-man -man tackles. They can't afford to go two on one in, in, in defence. Just one on one, um, and just keep that keep that defence up. Well, it's a fantastic offload and fantastic pickup by the player there. They can see it now. The Penguins are desperately trying to go side from side, create those gaps, uh, suck players in, create the overlap and looking to, to create the gaps out wide. Yeah, so this is the danger here. Football club, some of the defenders are going up too far. So if you go up in ones and twos, the gap's going to be there. and um, That's where they could find themselves wanting. But at There's the moment, they're doing well. The far side as well now. I love his hair. Oh, the Penguins are away here. Is, are they going to be over? Oh, no, I think he's held up. I will see. I think we'll go upstairs for this one. We'll go to the bunker. The referees there are just discussing, ref and touch it, just discussing whether it was a try or whether he's held up. Uh, the Penguins certainly think they've got the try. Yeah, and it's been awarded. Well, that's just that's just the, 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 the class of the team. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a good pass, but the winger picked it up and uh, managed to get that ball over the line. So it's 10-7 uh, with uh, just under two minutes to go. Football club aren't out of this by any stretch. They just need a... Um, you know, they need to receive this kickoff well and uh, and just keep the ball in hand. That's the key. You've got to keep the ball in hand for the next for the next minute and a half and see what they can do. Yeah, we're just watching the try again now. Fantastic offload and the tackle. Great strength driving towards the line. Two players on him. They're trying to hit the ball out of his hand. He just keeps on driving forward and fantastic, fantastic strength and power displayed there. But again, it seems like that one player for the Penguins here is constantly a playmaker, looking to get the quick gap, go someone on the outside, look for the pop where he brings the player in. And that's, just that, a gap. that's the key. Usually these teams have one or two playmakers, as I said earlier, and the rest of those guys feed off those, those couple of players. And here we go, the kick off to Football Club. It's a good take. He needs to get that ball back. Oh, no, that's, yeah. that's uh, he needed support there. That's unfortunate. You can imagine that, uh, that kick for the corner here, try and get a line out. Yeah, I think that's exactly what they do. You got the um, got the people on the side here shouting at them, corner, corner, corner. Yeah, they'll eat down the clock. Just uh, eat down the clock and eat up the time. Little kick to the corner, regain possession, bit of composure. They'll look for another try here to try and. Uh, but we've seen it earlier in the game. Football club have uh, taken the, taken the line out on the, off the head, uh, won it back, and so this could be, even be a great attacking platform for them. They'll be looking to steal this and try and make an immediate kind of quick quick turn, keep the ball because obviously the game doesn't finish. Uh, while the ball's in play. 
No, that's right. So we'll see what happens here. I'd imagine the, 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 the Penguins will go for a money ball, which they have. They've gone for the big guy. They'll go for a drive. They've got the size advantage over a football club. The ball's out. It's a clean ball. Oh, it's a, here we go. It, there we go. You've called it, Reese. Oh, he's, that 50-50 oh. ball. That's the one I said. They, they need to keep the ball in hand. There was no pressure on the guy then. He should have taken that ball in and uh, just had a bit of patience. I think that might be the football club's opportunity over there in this game, unfortunately. Mate. You know, you get that excitement, it's unexpected, against the head, you panic. You, you, you just try, you, you've, you've got one line of sight in there, you see the player out there, you try everything you can to get the ball. Well, hold on, there's a, is, it, is this a penalty, penalty here to football club? So, is there one well, more twist in this tail? Well, there is actually an overlap here on the outside. Oh, he's got to give that ball. Okay, they're just got to be composed. They've got to keep the ball. As you said, Reese. The, the, the balls, as long as the ball's in play, the game's still on. They've just got to be patient here. Penguins will be up in their face, but they've just got to hold the ball, take it up, and uh, try and try and get a, uh, an overlap or, uh, you know, put a man in space. Because what, the, I think from a defensive perspective, what the Penguins will try and do will be to isolate a player and then get in there and steal the ball. No, definitely, and that's, that's where football club have been bad in the past. They've, they've isolated themselves, but looks like they're, uh, you know, they're doing all right at the moment. They've just got to get out of their 22. Here we go. Oh, that, that's, so he just needs to support and runners on him. Just needs to support and runners in. So just need to be patient here. They, they don't need to score off this play. If they can't score, they just need to take the ball in. That's recycle fantastic it. Fantastic into the into the Yeah, see, here we go. This, this, this is a better play. Just build the platform. Take the ball in. Oh, uh, it's a knock on, has it? Yep. And that's the game, unfortunately. But uh, you know, football club didn't go down without a shout. No, I, I, I think they'll hold their heads up high off that. that, that that's a great, great performance by the football club. I think they've done exceptionally well. They, you know, they could have got a, a, a last minute score there, but I feel they'll come off that with pride and they'll be looking forward to the rest of this competition. No, I mean, they'll be looking forward to uh, playing their, their next game, which will be against probably the second team or the third team, the team in the pool. 